What's up Saberhood? This video is for a commission I just finished. It is a KR Hero with a Prism V4. It has a goth chassis. Um, I ended up putting the battery in the grenade instead of in the chassis because there was something wrong with the chassis I had and the 18650s that I have just wouldn't fit in it. Um, so what I had to do is cut the back end of the chassis and uh, run the wires through here to the 18650 which is sitting through there. So it's going to have a little adapter that will keep it nice and tight and snug so that the chassis system doesn't slide out while you're using it and then start making the vibrations cause false swings. So uh, put, keeping this in there keeps it nice and snug. Now to boot up the saber, you um, have to pull the kill key out. So if you go like this, then the chassis slides out. You could twist or pull out the kill key. The force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. So this is the Empire Strikes Back uh, Vader Legends, I believe, from Wansit. It has a red, green, blue uh, tri-cree. Okay, let's switch fonts. I'll show you the dark side. This is a Kylo Ren font. I'm also going to show you uh, what kind of blades you're going to need um, for these kind of sabers. So, uh, most this is a thin walled blade, which is what you need for this setup. And you'll have to make sure that there is no diffusion film up to that point. So if you have a blade like a Vader's Vault blade, you could pull it out and cut that much diffusion film uh, because the diffusion film will get all crunched up in there if you decide to, to put it in before adjusting that blade. Uh, but that's how you end up putting the blade in. Okay, next font. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Uh, this is Mad Cow's hero. <laughs> this font is ROTJ Legends. to change the colors you press those both at the same time okay and the next one is Vader ROTJ this is also a very loud saber I don't know why and then the next font is Graphlex font um, from The Force Awakens. The Force is with you, young and of course, when the saber is not being used, excuse Charlie the cat, you want to keep the kill key in the off position, so. Take out the spacer, pull out the chassis, and twist the kill key. Twist the kill key in the off position. Now, on this particular hilt, the, this line right here will need to line up with the control box because it hits this little screw in there that keeps it from sliding around. Okay. So once again, you'll want the recharge port on the side with the control box. I want to just slide it back in there. Alright, enjoy. I know Charlie does.